So um, in this case, ladies and gentlemen, what they have is they say that um, to go in from uh, Niagara to, I think, Claremont or something, you have to go a bearing of 75 degrees. So remember, when we're dealing with our bearings, we're going to be starting at our looking north, and we're going to go clockwise to what our bearing is. So it's a little bit different than me saying go north 75 degrees east. All right? I'm just giving you the bearing of 72, which is how we got to here. Then we went to Claremont. Then it said at a bearing of 32 was Rosewood or something up to here. And then they wanted us to find this distance from Rosewood to Niagara, all right? Which was X. I'm sorry? OK, I don't have the book in front of me. So. Um, so we need to find X. Now remember, this was in the section of law of cosines. So again, we want to be thinking using the law of cosines. Now to apply the law of cosines, we need to at least have either all three lengths or two lengths and an intercepted angle. So we already have, um, didn't we have this length? What's this length right here? Uh, don't we have both those lengths? This is 810? 648. 648. So that means, no, you're right. So it's 810 and 640. So if I want to use the law of cosines, I can use the law of cosines for that angle. The problem is I just need to figure out, well, what is that angle, right? So if this is 75 degrees, from here to here is 75 degrees, I know that that has to be 15 degrees, right? Because we know the angle between northeast, southwest is 90 degrees. So we also then, if that's 90 degrees, then we know that that's going to make a 90 degree angle. So now I have 32 plus 90 degrees, right? 122 degrees. But we still have this little sliver right here that has not been accounted for. So again, I go back to using our bearings, or at least having our north, south, east, west. When you guys have these two, you notice there's two sets of parallel lines, right? Our east, west lines are parallel to each other. And, but we have two angles that are on the same line, which we call the transversal. Since they're on the same line and they both intersect the parallel lines, if this is 15 degrees, then this inside here is also 15 degrees. Therefore, this whole angle from there to there ends up being um, 32, 147 or 137. Yeah. Anybody have any questions on how I got to that? Just basic math so far. I haven't even done anything yet. Uh, okay, right? How did you get a total of 137? I added 32 degrees plus 90 degrees oh. plus 15 degrees. Okay. So now to, find the dip, now to find the distance from Rosewood back over to uh, Niagara, I have to use the law of cosines. So again, guys, I'm using, uh, I'm using all these, um, I'll call this angle N. I'll call this angle C. And I'll call this angle R. That means that's little r. And that will be little n. And this will be little c. But anyway, so now I can just use the law, uh, law of cosines which will see that x squared equals 648 squared um, plus 810 squared minus 648, I'm sorry, 2 times, 2 times 648 times 810 times the cosine of my x, which is 137. Does everybody see how I plug those into my calculator? Now, I can just go ahead and finish this off. So I can do 648 squared. I'll show you guys the work. 810 squared. And then minus, so I'll do a negative 2 times 648 times 810 times the cosine of 137. And that's a positive 8.5. So then I'll add that to both of those numbers. It's a negative 2, right? The cosine of 137, what, what quadrant is 137 in? What quadrant is the angle 137 in? Second, is cosine positive or negative in the second quadrant? Negative. So if you take the cosine of 137, it's a negative value. Yeah, but oh. we got the coefficients are in the same. 
Yeah, I just didn't write it in there. All right. All right, that what you're saying? Yeah. So when I add them all up, I get x squared equals 2, or 2, 4, 9, 9. Right. Then take the square root of both sides. Wasn't it 1,300? It's 1,300, right? Not 1,581? No. What else did I? Something went wrong up here. Maybe I just typed in the wrong number. Oh, I forgot to. Wait a minute. No. Four one nine oh nine zero four. These are the correct numbers, eight hundred and ten, six forty eight, right? Yes. Okay, let me just double check. That's correct, nine oh four. Eight ten squared. Six five six one hundred, that's correct. Two times maybe I typed it in wrong. Six forty eight times eight ten times the cosine of 137. And that's negative, so it's positive. Whoa, yeah. All right. Oh, 137. I must have typed in the wrong number. There you go. So now, I'm not done yet, 1,357.85. OK? Sorry, I think I typed something wrong in my calculator. So now that's the distance, all right? So we now know the distance from Rosemont to Nicaragua, or Niagara, whatever it was, is 1,357, where is this feet, meters? Miles. Miles. 57.85 miles. Then the next one, it says find the bearing from where? So now, if we know that this is 75 degrees, right? And now we want to find this bearing. What is going to be that bearing, right? So if we look at this, we need to figure out what this angle is. So the only way to find that angle is now we can go and use the law of cos or the law of sines. Since we now have a relationship, I can say 1,357.85 over the sine of 137 now equals 648 over the sine of n, where n represents at Nicaragua. So now I go and solve this very, very quickly. And then take the inverse sine, and I get 18.99, which is 19 degrees. Then I do 75 minus 19, and it's going to be 56 degrees. So it's going to be north, 56 degrees, east. Done.